And here, here's another thing. Look at this, this pirate charger spacesuit. I'm going to take this. And he's still wearing the spacesuit. I'm really surprised by the lack of people who have complained about this, this lack of immersion issue. I mean, in Skyrim and Fallout, if you take people's armor and clothing, then, you know, they're, they're left in their, their underwear. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Starfield. This is Hill. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is going to be my final episode of Starfield. I've put 61 hours into this game. And I think the one word that I can use to describe it is boring. So... I just want to finish out, I guess we're, this is uh, episode 25, we'll finish this out, and this will be the final episode. And, you know, I, I watch YouTube videos, I look at the negative reviews, and I have to say the negative ones are truly the most honest reviews. And I hear the developer's perspective about how, in reality and whatnot, that you know, space is empty, and I, I guess they're they're trying to, I don't know, acknowledge that or show that in their game. But the thing I think that is being lost here is this is a video game. We don't care about reality. We want it to be fun, and this isn't. It's tedious and boring. But anyhow. Let's get on with this uh, mission here. If I can even remember, I haven't even played this in a while. So let's see. Even though I've been uh, putting up uh, videos, you know, I, I played it, a lot of it. Oh boy. You know, all at once. And then I just. Uh, you know, got to the point where yeah, I, I just can't do it anymore. And here, here's another example of what I don't like. A triple-A game, and this is your star map, a bunch of dots on the screen. You've got to be kidding me. Really? I mean, I, I would have been... I mean, they could have even stolen, you know, from like Mass Effect with the galaxy map and some something... You know, a little bit more colorful. I know when you get into the actual, uh, I guess what you call them, solar systems, that, you know, they're a bit more colorful, but this, this is our map, this is how we navigate. No. And then the lack of maps on the, the planets and the cities. This game was not ready. Not at all. And I wouldn't have been mad. I could have waited another year. And I'm sure that's at least, you know, we're being kind. I'm being kind. That at least a year uh, to get this done. Get this finished. And look at this. Am I going to be able to get back here? And people say you can fast travel to these spots. It's like, I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, it's been too long since I've uh, actually played the game to even have an understanding of where I'm supposed to go. Can we do this? Oh, I can. And yeah, I see. I got my character up to level 35 by going to these barren planets and killing these innocent creatures to try to level up my character that isn't fun I'm going to tell you right it isn't I mean the, the creatures don't deserve to be murdered like that it, it's, it just has to be another way I may not quite enjoy New Atlantis but this <laughs> this is much better All right, here Forgot is... Forgot to check the math on a few equations. The brain's long con, 
the man. Forgetfulness. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. And how many more artifacts do you think are out there? No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. All right, I'm ready. Give me any data on the artifacts you have. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Alright, so what? This looks like we're looking for more artifacts. I thought I was going to the eye. I'm confused. Anyway, let's see. Let me get out of here. I guess this is the ship we're headed back to. I probably should have practiced a little bit before I uh, pressed record since it's been such a while, a long time. Um, Yeah, and some of the other things that I don't particularly care about in this game, <clears throat> excuse me, how are we here, is how you level up and how you have to have the challenges and whatnot to get from one level to the other and, you know, everything is locked down, you know, unless you're actively working on, here we go, on the particular skill, it's like, you know, I have nothing in dueling and you know I have to put points in here it's like you know the stuff just doesn't happen it doesn't level up by you actually um, doing the thing but uh, fortunately there have been some mods that uh, you know address these issues and make the game a little bit more fun to play Whew. always a satisfying moment to return to your ship but that's the thing, it's like, you know, th this game is so far incomplete, it's, it's, it's going to be years before this is, for me, a, a playable game that I might enjoy. And I, I'll probably come back to this, I mean, you know, but let's let Bethesda finish this and, you know, unfortunately let the modders fix this. And, um, you know, this actually may be fun Ship's one good. day. Welcome, welcome. Let's go. And I do have the latest patch, uh, you know, as of this recording, the uh, Starfield 1.8.86, which adds the DLSS. And I have to say, though, the game does seem to be a little bit smoother, and I, I never noticed that my, um, whatever performance was so bad until, uh, I got this, uh, update installed. Alright, here we go. Get ready for grab jump. Jump complete. Want to do it again just for fun? No? Well, maybe later. Oh, what is this? Forgotten Mech Graveyard? Is this where we're going? No, 
find the artifact. Again, confused. Neither of these locations seem to be part of this mission, but they have to be, because why why are they being highlighted? This is all clear. Time to land this ship. Yep, and herein lies the crux of Starfield's problem. These 1,000 barren planets that are not fun to explore in the least. And, you know, anything that you're trying to get to once you land is, is so far away. It's just a waste of time trying to travel there. There's no sorts of vehicles. This boost pack is, is, is just so tedious to use. I don't know why we're here. I mean, this what does this have to do with the artifact? But for whatever reason, we're going to go over here to this uh, forgotten mech graveyard and see what this is all about. Maybe this is actually uh, a quest that might be interesting. Because I'm going to tell you, it's like people say, oh, the side quests are, are so good and it's better than the main story. I, I'm not finding that to be true. Not at all. And say, look at this, look at this boost pack. Fortunately, the gravity is lower here, so I can travel further, but this is not fun to try to travel across planets like this. Give, give me a rover or some something, or a boost pack that I can actually just fly. But yeah, it, it would just be so great if Bethesda would concentrate on making the game fun. You know, I guess we're, we're going to need aliens and maybe intelligent aliens. Stop, stop trying to be realistic about this. And this, you know, it's, it's not. It's a video game. This is going to be fun. Yeah, 
and these, you know, near empty caves that you explore. That, you know, sometimes they might have a creature or creatures in here, but there, there's really nothing much to it. Don't tell me this is the artifact, seriously? Oh, uh oh. An eye on your vitals. Gained quantum essence. Interesting. He's gone. All right. So this was an easy way to find a artifact. Oh, I guess I need to use my um, thingamajiggy here. All right. You might want to stand back. Artifact Tau. All right, is this another one of these? Uh, okay, okay, I can take it. Here we go. So that was one. So, okay, these uh, markers are correct. They are accurate. So it is actually taking us to the places where the artifacts are located. But just as a suggestion, wouldn't it have been fun to have creatures or enemies or something that we had to fight our way through to get to the artifact? I just don't understand why this game has to be so lifeless. I really don't. And that that is truly the, the issue that I have with it. And then when you do discover life, you know, it's either these hideous creatures that have been procedurally generated or it's going to be the same bases and whatnot on every planet, you know, with whatever random enemy that is spawned there. And, you know, I, I've gotten confused. It's like I thought, uh, can we, how do we get there? I guess we need to get to the ship. one to two even ten years from now this game might actually be uh, orbital insertion you know done. a contender time to dance among the stars and it'll be interesting to see what uh, the modders do what gets loaded or created added to the game I mean there are a lot of great mods out there already
Right, so I guess another deserted robotics area. Here we go. Landing gear. Check. Thrusters. Check. Landing sight. Clear. You know, there are some aspects of this game that are really nice, like this landscape, for example, the planet, the lighting. I don't know if this is improved with the patch or not, but this looks a lot better than I remember playing because it seemed like everything had a a fog to it and a what is it like a well, it's like a haze and also a tent that was really not that uh, pleasing. But again, we have lighter gravity and we can use the boost pack. But maybe somebody just wants to get in a car or just fly directly or fast travel even, because th this is just taking up a lot of the player's time to do this. And we're fortunate that this is close. Some of these things are much further away when you get on the planet. I, I like this uh, the gravity here. It really enables me to travel. I wonder if there is anything here. this how come I'm walking and gravity doesn't seem to be affecting me but how he fell over like he was in a, a low grab environment anyway I'm not gonna try to I am more than willing to help you carry anything that has use or is of considerable value but that that was interesting and here here's another thing look at this pirate charger spacesuit. I'm going to take this. And he's still wearing the spacesuit. I'm really surprised by the lack of people who have complained about this this lack of immersion issue. I mean, in Skyrim and Fallout, if you take people's armor and clothing, then, you know, they're they're left in their their underwear. Doesn't happen here. I mean, this is the most unimmersive thing that I have seen. It, I, I I don't know when the last time I've seen something like this but it, it's ridiculous why <laughs> I've got his armor and he's still wearing it anyhow how do we get out well either we press on or we turn back your call we're gonna press on and what I would really like to show and it's a shame that I don't even know how to use the this stuff. This is the star map. I wanted to show the map map and and how uh, terrible it is, but um, I guess not today. Who else? Ah. 
Thanks, whoever did that. Uh-oh, this thing's aggressive. Not aggressive enough, though. But yeah, I've been able to uh, level up my gun skills, which I heard something. make this kind of fun. Don't have a, any problem, really, with the... Uh, the guns in this game, especially once you start weeding through all the challenges and whatnot and, and getting leveled up. You know, two can play at this game. Asia. And for those of you that didn't know, if you're playing on PC, the F5 key does work to uh quick save like it did in Skyrim. Don't re don't recall what happens in um, Fallout, but there is that similarity with Skyrim. But it's really a shame. I mean, you can see that a lot of work went into this. And oftentimes this really does feel like Fallout. Fallout in space. And I'm not sure that's a good thing. I would like this game to differentiate itself from Fallout. Terminal on the catwalk. Worth investigating, if heights do not bother you. Not really. But I love being able to, you know, navigate through this uh, world with a pistol so reminds me of uh, Mass Effect alright we're not doing the robot control we, we can handle this on our own and I hate this uh, this digipick stuff I know there's a mod out there that uh, fixes this or makes it easier to, to do because some of us just aren't, uh, me, not good at puzzles. But somehow... If you can't succeed at that before we are discovered. I did it. Alright, discovered by whom? It, it doesn't matter, we're gonna kill them all. Somebody just try to get in my way. Oh look, I see movement behind the door here. But, I mean, th this game really does have a lot of promise. I look forward to coming back to it years from now. And, you know, it's something that uh, may or may not know. I had a similar issue with Skyrim when it first came out. I didn't like it. And now, that's all I play. I've been playing Skyrim for years. But the modding community has definitely helped, and I, I can't wait to see what they can do with this. Come on, yeah, just, just, please, sit down. Yeah, Andre, Andresia or, or me, we don't have time for this. See, it's going to take an expert lock. I'm not doing that. 
But yeah, there is a, a mod that uh, I think you can just lockpick, you know, just one ring. It's, it's easy lock picking. It gives you uh, everything that you, you know, lets you unlock the lock easily. But here's the thing. I mean, these bases are all the same. So there's, I think there's be some trap here. Yeah, this is. I've, I've been here. Like this is the third time that I've been to this type of base with this type of trap, with these dead bodies. And then there's gonna be a bunch of people in here that we have to fight. I mean, this really gets boring, come on. I mean, what good is the procedural generation if it keeps generating the same stuff over and over like this? Can't the computer come up with different variations? now I'm gonna miss this character though I mean I've really invested a lot of time in his skills oh you can hit me from way over there really you're inside this door. I'm like back here and you still, okay. All right. See, it's a video game. It's like if you all, if you all Bethesda are looking for realism, there's no way that man could have hit me from where I was standing, but that's okay. I'm all right with it. Another always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. All right, hopefully we're getting close to the end. Sure. See, here's another pirate assault spacesuit that this man is wearing. I'm gonna take it. And he's still wearing the spacesuit. This to me is just unacceptable. I mean, come on. There there has to be some level of and you talk about realism. I mean what what how real is that that you take the man's spacesuit and he's still wearing it? And I really don't know why people haven't said more about that. Uh-oh, I stepped in something. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Alright, so y'all want to play it like that, huh? Either we press on, or we turn back. Your call. Oh, we're pressing on. But I, I would say this game definitely needs to be modded, you know, for, for ease of use. I mean, you know, get rid of all the restrictions on the leveling. Uh, somehow make the locations on the planets closer to where you land. I mean, we don't need to spend, you know, endless amount of time boosting across these planet surfaces and fighting these uh, creatures, although they do help level you up. All right, so I missed the wherever it is I'm supposed to be going. But I, I love the concept of, of being in space and, and, well, trying to, the exploration really hurts this game, but <laughs> I do like the concept. Oh, that corpse is a pile of them. Hmm. Damn slugs. Hmm. 
Oh, so we're going through here now. Okay. Makes sense. The artifact has to be in a mining area. Okay. Well, here. They just... This is the suggestion I had for the first one when we went in the cave to have to fight our way. Oh, shit. For the artifact. And I got more quantum essence. So, thank you, Bethesda, for that, for making my last uh, playthrough a bit interesting. So, why don't you not stand in front of me? All right, here we go. Artifact Theta. Okay, add the artifacts to the collection. It's time to get out of here. Yeah, but that, that was a nice little adventure, fighting these um, enemies and stuff to get here to the artifact. Much appreciated. I trust you will help yourself to anything useful. I hope you will too. And, you know, that brings me to another point. These companions. It's like all of the companions in the uh, constellation group are so holier than thou and they don't like you to kill people and most of them don't like you to steal or do anything against the law. There really needs to be a balancing in this game of, of morality. And I haven't played the Crimson Fleet missions but, you know, if that's the, the bad path, if you're, you know, playing as a, a villain or, you know, not too nice of a guy, then you should be able to recruit from that faction like-minded people that have no qualms with uh, the law and, you know, attacking ships and stuff in space and shooting so-called innocent people. I mean, that, that, there doesn't seem to be a balance here. It's like everybody is just goody two-shoes. I thought this woman, you know, was going to be more of a, I don't know, a darker character that didn't seem to care about killing. But yeah, these people will, will leave you in a heartbeat and not talk to you and do all that childish stuff, which is just annoying. But anyway, let's go. It's a shame that I do not know the map button. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, not, not that the maps are even useful, but here we go. I just wanted to show what the map look like. I'm sure you've seen it before, but... Alright, so what am I looking at here? Add artifact to the collection. Alright, there's the ship over here. Oh, surface map. Here we go. RB. Here we go. Look at this. Triple A game. And this is the map that you get of the planet? Come on. Really? Th this is... This is... I'm not even going to say it, but this is very, very disappointing to me. All right, let's fast travel. And it, it's like this for every planet. It's the same bland map that you can't really even call a map. Anyway, let's go. Lift off initiated, Captain. 
And even, even when you're in the cities, it's the same thing. There's no way that this game was finished. some extra repair parts. Done. Can't stay here gabbing all day. Fly safe. All right, well, we got a little, um, space combat. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can find our way back. deliver these uh, artifacts. upset if one of my uh, followers brought contraband on board. Okay, we need to go here to the lodge. Bright lights and reflections are almost enough to make you forget about those living down in the well. Okay, and let's take off the spacesuit. Okay, let's go. not spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was still given my own room. All right, here we go. Add the artifacts. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you? No. Having a crisis of faith? <laughs> no, it's you? not. What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? I 
I'm starting to wonder if this is all worth it myself. Don't do this. We're making history here. We'll deal with the Starborn. Together. This Starborn pushing back against us is simply one more sign that we are onto something important. We cannot abandon the mission now. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. What kind of repairs? Console parts. Replacement wires that have burned out. Some fixes to the intercom between the station and the lodge. You know I'm a soldier, right? There are plenty of other people you could ask. Yeah, and I have. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. All right. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. So... I can't really tell. Were more of these uh, artifact pieces added? Maybe. Looks about the same anyway. But yeah, this is this is it. This is where I am with the uh, end of my playthrough with Starfield. Um, I just wasn't uh, the type of player that gets into the the tedium and the the boredom. I really thought this was going to be a lot like um, Skyrim which I really, really enjoy. And it just isn't. I mean, it's just too much open space. I mean, there's like a, a void in this game. You know, a void between the, the talking, and I'm going to call it like it is, the talking heads and the dialogue and the so-called space travel, which people are saying is just cut scenes, and then the exploration, which is just these barren worlds with the markers and stuff that are way off in the distance and it's just time consuming to try to get there this game just isn't for me and I don't know if it's for you either but I would caution anyone that uh, you know is looking to get this game wait wait a year at the very least because it's not finished I mean they just added DLSS to, to the game and, you know, all the stuff that they're adding should have been here from the beginning. But, you know, as with most companies, it seems they just rush products out the door. And, you know, they get to a point where, okay, you know, we, we can live with what we've got. And we're just going to, you know, let it go. We're going to put it out there. And then we'll let everybody beta test it. And then we'll start adding the things that should have been there from the beginning but anyhow I'm just rambling and of course please these are just my opinions there you know everybody is going to experience this game differently people will love it people will hate it people will be in between but from my perspective give it more time to mature to develop for the features to be put in, for the creation kit, creation club, you know, for, I guess, more sophisticated mods to, to be added uh, to the game. And one day, you know, this game may rise from the ashes like the phoenix. All right, well, thank you for your time. And this has been Hill, and I'm out.